Friends and fellow educators, I have a confession to make. I am a sneaker enthusiast. Sneakerhead, collector of sneakers, whatever you want to call it, the bottom line is I can't get enough of sneakers. To me, there was nothing like wearing a fresh new pair of kicks on the first day of school. I just felt cool, stylish, and felt like I could take on the world. And I still feel the same way today. When I arrive at school, the first thing that I do is I channel my inner Mr. Rogers. I take off the shoes that I wore to school and pick a new pair from my office cabinet. Yeah. Here's a shot that I took over the summer in California of most of my sneakers in my closet. I think it's safe to say that I have a real obsession. All right, so why am I talking about sneakers? Well, the sneaker culture that I grew up in was more than just a way for me to feel cool. It actually transformed into a mentality. As a 90s kid, my favorite basketball player, like millions of others and some of you here today, was Michael Air Jordan. Every day I played basketball and I tried to emulate his air-defying moves and even stuck out my tongue while playing basketball because I saw him do it on TV. But I also emulated his attitude and mindset. I learned about determination, grit, perseverance. But most importantly, I learned about failure. There was one Jordan commercial that made a huge impression on me. And it was with him just walking in slow motion, really cool, into the stadium. And he said this, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I was trusted to take, to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeeded. I learned that failure, I learned that failure helps us to identify what we need to improve on, but also what we need to improve on. Identify what we need to improve on so that we can improve uh, ourselves. I teach this lesson to my students every day. Currently, I'm really into New Balance sneakers. I spend hours just looking online of different colorways and styles during my downtime. Recently, they unveiled a new ad campaign that I believe contains the message that goes beyond what I saw in the Jordan commercial. And they're calling it Always in Beta. According to the website, Beta is a, is a state of relentless improvement where there's no finish line to what's possible. We dream, we wake up, we improve upon yesterday, always pushing, always pursuing better. Failure is a test, and success is not the end. We are constantly evolving. There is no end to what we become. Always in beta epitomizes what we're trying to do at, uh, in our new applied learning program at Korea International School. Our students are using the design thinking process where iteration and improving on failure points is so crucial. We give students permission to fail. We celebrate epic fails and we celebrate even more when they improve on those failures. We teach students that innovators are prolific, spectacular failures who are relentlessly trying to improve themselves and their craft. Before coming to Learning 2, a fourth grader stopped, stopped me in the hallway and said, Mr. Lee, I feel really confident, like I can accomplish anything. This is coming from a student who found it challenging just to do simple tasks on his own, who was so scared to try new things because of his deep fear of failure. Now he's not scared to fail. Now he knows that failure is just another step to improvement. Always in Beta has quickly become my anthem, my motto in the way I approach teaching and learning. And I would like to challenge you to do the same. Remind yourselves and your students that we are all always in Beta, that we won't stop evolving, that we will celebrate and use failures to help us improve. As educators and as global citizens, 
We are never done. Thank you for your time.